I hope everyone's enjoyed the video so far. The uh, main star of the show is finally out of its body. It took a lot longer than I thought. Um, the first time I went through, I thought I had got uh, the pin, the actual, the locking lug sticks into. Apparently, I got that wrong. Um, I wasn't really sure if this followed the same convention as other best locks, but apparently it does. So, I just have to get this apart. I'm hoping it's not epoxied or anything. Um, otherwise, that's going to make my day very long. I have no idea how to take this apart, so I don't expect it to go back together. Um, I just want to learn what's actually inside these things. Sort of spring spacer. Okay, so that's a detent. I'm going to assume it's for the locking lug. Actually, let me bring you in closer. Okay, that seems to be a lot better. I lost all my recording equipment in the move months ago, and I've never had the time to replace everything, so I'm just using my phone on my tripod, so. Um, hopefully the quality serves just as well. Okay. There is another spring in here. Very beautifully machined part. I don't know if it's gonna focus in on that at all. Yeah, there we go. There is a spring on the top. Just the more I break it down, the more I'll learn about it. Okay, so the locking lug is now free moving. Okay, well, there's a bunch of parts that just fell out. Some spacers, another large spring. This very tiny half spring. This is a very complicated lock. Okay, so that's the actual body. Okay, so these springs came out of here. The actual brains of the system, thankfully not epoxied. Come on. I'll take some close up shots and See if I can incorporate it into the video later. Looks like a plastic front face. Does this just pop forward? The board might actually be glued in place. It almost looks like it's got something. Because these aren't really hooked on. It's just a, a sheer face. Do a little pry and see what it does. Very weak board. Very, very weak. There's a slight amount of pressure and it starts to bend. It feels like it's glued down though. Doesn't look like there's anything under there that I could damage, so... It's not like I expect this lock to work again afterwards. This is, uh, purely for gutting. I have a second one, which I'm hoping to go down to the 
Pass Abloy headquarters in Ontario and uh, try to get a keyed. Looks like they have filled the bottom half of the epoxy. You can see a little bit of a epoxy hole here. You can kind of see through the gap there. Underneath, there is some epoxy which must be holding this board in. I think if I keep working it, it should come out. So there's a little bit of electronics under there, but nothing much. It seems to be the connections that go from uh, the main three pins here into the board. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. There's a way to pull off this front face plate, which I believe is plastic, or there's a way to punch these pins back. I'm going to assume they are punched forward into the plastic, and then the plastic is pressed on, possibly glued. I just don't know how they got all this attached together after. I'm going to crush the front face plate one second. I really like to see the solenoid. <laughs> I don't even know if we could see the solenoid. Probably a hole behind this plate. Okay, I'm gonna stop the camera and figure this out, and uh, when I get it off, I'll get the camera back on it. Okay, so finally managed to uh, machine what I needed to off, so the actual connector is still there, the board is still untouched. I ripped off the um, upper arc at this point. I think this is an anti-drill pin right down here. I think I can just pry that out and then we'll have access to the solenoid if I pull forward. Try 
try my best to keep everything centered for everyone. Um, it's a bit hard when the camera is off center from the center of the, um, the phone. Just because I'm curious, I'm going to score it with a diamond file. Mm, not hardened. Uh, yeah, okay, so the motor itself might be epoxied. Um, it's all epoxy. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It looks like, in essence, you would connect the key, which houses the battery. It would authenticate through the board. And as long as it authenticates, it sends power to the motor, which would then actuate and pull down a pin, which would allow or is it this piece here to drop down, allow the back end to actually unlock from the top of the housing and allow the whole mechanism to turn. So I unfortunately don't have a key with these locks, which sucks, but I got what I could. Maybe in a future video I'll see if I can find a, a way to get rid of this epoxy. It's not super solid stuff, and it's not that black epoxy they usually put um, in other electronics, but it's, it's definitely all coated in there, so I can't get that motor out. But I know there's a motor because if I get some of the steel chips from the front, you can see that it sticks right there. So there's definitely a motor in there. Well, hopefully this was worth it for everyone. Thanks for watching.